Hey, what's up, GI Nation? I'm Crystal Levin, and you are watching GI Weekly, your number one source for everything bodybuilding. Kicking your ass with bodybuilding news and entertainment. Let's get started. If you missed it, or live under a rock, Kai Green made a brief appearance on ESPN with a new motivational video called The Mindset. I refuse to believe today will be just another day in my life. All that I am and all that I will become will be written through my thoughts and my actions. Kai has been posting teasers from his ESPN appearance all last week, even stating that there would be a bit of a reveal for his masterpiece project. But it looks like we'll have to wait a little bit longer. As usual, ESPN didn't show us anything, nothing, nada, nothing about the mystery project. Until next time, I suppose. Speaking of the Predator, Kai Green recently announced that he will be heading to Moscow, Russia. I want to send a special shout out to my friends out there in Moscow, Russia. We'll be heading out there very, very, very soon. It's cold. <clears throat> From March 18th to the 23rd. We're not sure exactly what Kai is up to, but he claims that he's excited to do great things. I can do great things. We believe there's always great things in store for Kai. Now let's hit up our Tweet of the Week, courtesy of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock tweeted this quick vid showing us how he unwinds after a long work day. All right, just worked a 12 hour day. Well, 13 hour day, but who's counting? Empty gym, the iron paradise, this is my therapy. I encourage everybody out there to find your therapy. Plus, this shit is cheaper than a shrink. <laughs> that's the ultimate therapy right there. Maybe that's why he hashtagged it, wear kettlebells on my Zoloft, and it's always cheaper than a shrink. Hidetada Yamagishi is ready to take the Arnold Classic 212 by storm, and he's showing it off with this quick training video at Gold's Gym, just eight weeks out from the event. You can already start to feel that pro competition excitement in the air. We can't wait to see how Hidetada holds up against the rest of the 212 competition. We've talked about the best, and we've talked about the top uncrowned pros. But what about the lovely underdogs? Those bodybuilders who are always nipping at the heels of someone else that they just can't seem to surpass. Here's our list of the top five underdogs in bodybuilding. Number five, the Dragon Slayer Rich Gaspari. In an alternate reality, Rich would have been a Mr. Olympia champion. Probably a three-time winning champion, actually. Lee Haney put a quick stop to that, and no matter how hard Gaspari tried, he just couldn't avoid falling second to Haney. Number four, Lou Ferrigno may not have had a long history as an underdog, but he had it where it counts. Pumping Iron put Lou up against one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The film set Lou up to have an amazing rags to riches story. Instead, he remained an underdog. Never to beat the Austrian Oak. Number three, Flex Wheeler. A true champion in his own right, except in one place, the Mr. Olympia competition. The world sat and wondered if Wheeler had the power to dethrone Ronnie Coleman. But in the end, he always fell short. Number two, Kai Green, the modern day underdog. Between his constant second place standing to Phil Heath and his pitted rivalry depicted in Generation Iron, Kai might be the ultimate underdog. After all of the obstacles that he's had to overcome so far, he needs only to beat Phil to put an end once and for all to his underdog story. And our number one pick is Jay Cutler. What? Jay Cutler is a four time champion. How can he be at the top of an underdog list? Calm down guys. While he may be a superstar now, there was a time when Jay was stuffed playing second fiddle to the mega bodybuilder, Ronnie Coleman. And for a while, it seemed like things would stay that way. Cutler ended up eventually becoming the four-time Olympia champion we know today, but for a while, he was the ultimate underdog of the bunch. Despite being underdogs, these top five guys could still kick any of our asses, and that's why we're still talking about them today. Well, that wraps us up for this week. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at GI underscore athletics. And if you want to see other bodybuilding videos like this one, click the link right below. Now let's take a break from the gains and move on to the pain with our workout fail of the week. Peace out. Stay pumped.
Thank you.